Okay, so like I was just saying, um, the Wi-Fi has gone down again. So Tom's in there, hopefully chewing someone a new one, trying to get somebody out here to fix it. So I'm going to do this workout really fast and hope that everything connects. So we've got, I'm going to do it. We're going to do it live. We're going to do it without a warm up. We're just doing it. We're going to do it without music because I can't connect to Spotify. Let me get my, my kettlebells here and we're just going for it. All right. I've got an AMRAP and I've got a Tabata. So I've got a 15 minute AMRAP, um, with kettlebell clean and squats. Uh, overhead presses, quad extensions, kettlebell halos, and kettlebell around the world. So I'm going to demonstrate those really fast, and then we're just going to get into it. Oh, and I've managed to forget and leave my whoop battery on, which is no good. Okay, so uh, kettlebell clean and squats. So you get your kettlebell, okay, good deadlift position, and we're going to clean it up to your shoulder and squat down. Okay, and we're gonna do five on each side, I think is the, yeah, five per side of those. If you, if your kettlebell is too heavy for you to clean and squat, you can always goblet squat it, just like that, that's fine. Um, but the clean is a nice little kind of dynamic movement. So then we've got an overhead press, five per side, you can, you can clean this one as well. And again, this will really depend on how heavy your kettlebell is. So we're just going to do a strict, um, strict press there. Uh, like I said, you can clean that as well, but you don't have to, uh, if you have a really, really heavy kettlebell, you might not even be able to do those. You might have to start at your goblet squat position and press overhead with both hands. You know, it depends on what you've got. We've got our quad extensions. We've done these a billion times. So you guys should know these ones leaning back here and pulling yourself up with your quads. 10 of those. Okay, so this next one is a new one. We had it on last week, but we couldn't film anything. So you're getting into your like half kneeling position and you're gonna pick up your kettlebell like this. I should not have worn hand lotion and it's just gonna go around your head five times per side. So go one way, go the other way. That's called a kettlebell halo. And then our last one is our around the world. We've done these before, swinging, working your grips, you know, making sure you're, uh, you're keeping your grips working, even though we're kind of, um, is still in lockdown. Sorry, this is a disaster this morning. I don't, I don't know what to say other than we had a workout planned and then the Wi-Fi decided it was going to quit on us. Um, so if Tom doesn't get this sorted out, I'm going to call up and maximize my Americanness with them and uh, hopefully get it sorted. So let me see if I can at least put some music on my phone. Who knows? The speaker won't connect, which has nothing to do with the Wi-Fi. I don't know what that's all about. Let's see if we can get... All right, well, at least my phone is working to play music. Let's get started. I need 15 minutes on the clock. And we're going to start with our clean and squats and then we're going to go from there. Okay. Definitely not 30 minutes. And we are off. All right. Don't need a press. Okay. And now we've got our overhead press. Okay. I'm going to use my heavy kettlebell for this.
Sorry for no warm up this morning. You know I don't believe in warm ups anyway. But, like I said, bit of a disaster. Quad extensions. So people always ask me what the biggest culture shock is moving to the UK. And it's honestly how absolutely terrible customer service is here. So let me expand on that <laughs> a little bit. Um, you know, in the US, there's this kind of cultural thing where the customer is always right. And that causes lots of problems, of course, because people are idiots. Um, but you get the opposite here where people, it's really hard to fire people. So you get a lot of people who just don't do their job. Um, which is fine a lot of the time because really you don't need a, a retail person to do anything for you. But when it comes to something like fixing the internet, it becomes a bigger issue. That and Sunday opening hours. I don't get Sunday opening hours, people. Somebody explain them to me. All right, now we're back to the beginning. We're back to our cleans and squats. I am going to fix this camera because, again, my head is not in shot for some reason. I don't know what's going on. It's fine. I wasn't expecting to be in here alone. All right. So you can do these in two different movements if you want. Like you can clean and then squat, perfectly fine. Or you can do them kind of in one movement like I am. I think it depends on how heavy your kettlebell is on what you want to do with those. Okay, overhead press. I've also had quite a bit of coffee this morning. I should probably slow down a little bit because, man, I'm moving at a million miles a minute. I've lost my, my timer. There we go. We've got 11 minutes left. Very flustered. It's fine. All right, overhead presses. because I put hand lotion on. It was a bad choice. Everything about this morning seems to be a bad choice. Okay. Quad extensions is next, I think. Really hope I'm still online, who knows. Ten minutes left. Doing slightly longer today because we're working with some weight. I was finding that with ten minutes, I wasn't getting, I wasn't getting through the exercises enough to really feel the benefits. So we've bumped up some of these heavier weighted se sessions, sorry, to 15, 12 to 15 minutes rather than 10. Apparently I'm only 27% recovered today or something. But Thea slept until 5.30. I feel great. <laughs> What's the last one? Oh yeah, kettlebell around my nose.
My entire goal this morning is not to drop anything on my broken foot. Okay, so that's two rounds done, I think. Maybe three, who knows? Two, three, whatever. It's all the same. All right, again, sorry for the, I think the stream just cut out again, but nothing I can do about it. Overhead presses, I think, yes. Got seven minutes left, on to overhead presses again. Like I said, I had some coffee this morning. I'm just, woo. I usually don't drink coffee until a little bit later in the day. Halos now. So you can do these on both knees, but I find that this one knee up position is it feels uh feels more like a um, like a functional position. I don't know if that makes any sense, but when I when I do anything like this on both knees, I feel like that's not that's not really a position that we ever find ourselves in. So the dynamic movement of swinging this around my head is a little bit more effective if I use a, a position that's more common in jiu-jitsu. So like that wiggle side to side is, is helpful. All right, now we got our around the world. to squat.
So I'm certainly no expert on Olympic weightlifting or anything, but I've always been told to keep the weight as close to your body as possible whenever you do clean snatches, anything like that. And also to try to, uh, somebody is, uh, somebody is connected to the speaker. I'm going to have to switch this. Sorry, if you can hear talking in the background, I think somehow Tom is connected to the speaker. Anyway, like I was saying, I was always told to keep the weight as close to your body as possible and try and drop your hips under the weight rather than using your arms to pull the weight up. This is not a professional outfit, guys. goes my Wi-Fi again. Hopefully it connects again. I've got two minutes left. On this first AMRAP. I forgot to say at the beginning because I was a little bit flustered, but obviously, oh, there goes my internet again. Um, you should adjust the, the number of reps that you're doing based on the weights that you have. So I set these, these up based on the fact that I have a 12 kilo, yeah, 12 kilo and an 18 kilo kettlebell and that's it. So if you only have lighter weight, you should do more reps. And if you only have heavier weight, don't be afraid to drop it down to five or fewer. You know, you can, you can do three per side. You gotta do what makes sense for the weights you have because obviously not everybody has like a, a fully stocked kettlebell collection. Okay, and that's it for that one. Let me write down my my things here. Okay, so I got Okay. Okay, so the last bit we have here is a Tabata. We've got one round for the Tabata because we did slightly longer on the uh, the weights today. So we've got drop steps and uh, step ups. <laughs> Let me set up the, the Tabata thing here. Um, all right, where's my round timer? So we want round time. Twenty seconds. Rest time is ten. I hope this is right. We'll see. Okay, twenty seconds of work, ten seconds. Okay. Hopefully that's right. If not, I'll count. It's fine. So our two exercises for the Tabata, we're only doing one round of the Tabata today, so that's only four minutes. Uh we've got drop steps. 
We do these a lot, drop steps here. Um, and then the other one is step ups. Oh, there goes my internet again. Step ups is here. Um, I have a broken foot right now, so depending on how I feel, I might just do drop steps. It'll depend on how it ends up feeling. Um, whatever, we're gonna get started here. All right, and I'm just gonna do it before my internet cuts out again, and we're off. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're going. drop steps. You guys can do step ups. I just can't move fast enough for it to make any sense. Like I said, I broke or I did something nasty on my foot last week um, and I can't move fast enough for step ups to make any sense. So we're going. seconds. Time. Okay, that's round three of eight. Three, two, one. You should be on step ups now, I think. on drop steps. I'm just perpetually on drop steps. It's fine. We're off. Be on step ups now. After this, we've got one more round. Okay, one more round of drop steps and one more round of step ups. Four, three, Two and one, we're off. Ten seconds. Okay, ten second break. Then the last round of step ups. Five, four. Three, two, one, and we're going. Ten seconds. Time. Okay. So I'm gonna do 100 abs. You guys can sign off here if you'd like. Let me adjust this camera again. But we're just gonna do 100 abs and then we're gonna call it a day because somehow magically I'm still connected to the internet. All right, so the first one I'm gonna do is um, like these tuck sits. So I'm gonna post my hands out behind me and I'm just gonna 
tuck my legs in. I'm gonna do 25, I'm gonna do four different times. So, three. Okay, now let's do some um, like Toriando. I, I always learn these as like a Toriando clearing motion. It's not real, but it's um, you know, it's that kind of motion. So again, hands are gonna come up over the knees, and you're gonna crunch everything up. Pretty self-explanatory. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, next one I'm gonna do is uh, some Russian twists. So I'm gonna sit up, I'm gonna like crunch up, and then I'm just gonna twist from side to side. Um, you can do this with a weight if you have one. I don't have an appropriate weight in here, so I'm just gonna do it without one. Ready, let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Okay, last one. I'm just gonna do some triangles. I'm gonna do twenty-five of them. And then we're gonna call it a day because somehow I'm still connected and that's gonna be a win for today. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so I'm going to call it a day there because, like I said, it's been a weird morning. We had Wi-Fi. We don't have Wi-Fi now. It's insanity. So um, we're going to keep trying to do these because I think actually on my phone it didn't do too badly with the connection and hopefully we get our Wi-Fi back at some point in the near future because I'm gonna lose it if we're quarantined and I can't watch the Disney Channel, essentially. <laughs> so 